hey guys today we are going to talk about co-working and why co-working is on the rise so demand for flexible office spaces has hit a new high after the pandemic with co-working share in office real estate reaching 27 percent in january march period up from 14 percent in 2019 a report by anna rock showed so uh, the demand has risen as you can see from 14 percent to 27 percent out of a net absorption of approximately 8.2 million square feet across the top seven cities in quarter 1 2023 co-working space had a 27 percent share so 27 percent share of 8.2 million square feet among the top cities bengaluru and delhi and cr together accounted for 66 percent of net co-working absorption pune and chennai together saw nearly 0.52 million square feet of co-working spaces absorbed in terms of overall growth in co-working demand, the top 7 cities witnessed a 90% growth in net absorption in this period. So basically co-working spaces are rises and rising and as you can see, the top cities like Bangalore and Delhi as well as the other top 7 cities, they have seen a rise in demand. So the tier 1 cities are basically seeing a high rise in demand. Now why demand for co-working has risen? So it's easier for companies to just go and start working from day one. So they can, don't need to worry about the office interiors, about the setup and everything is done for them right from the word go. So also there is a rising gig economy with more freelancers coming up with the startup culture rising. So it suits them. Now also uh, due to COVID and post COVID, there is a rise in the hybrid model of working so corporates have also <coughs> uh, given the flexibility to their employees to work from home or to work from remote spaces so in this area in this aspect co-working is the best solution for them also there is low commercial space vacancy levels or as all the commercial spaces are mostly occupied so co-working is a great solution good for those who want to set up smaller satellite offices or remote teams and because of the rising culture of workspace flexibility. Now, what are the advantages? The find uh, the people can find clients inside the co-working space because there are different people operating on different businesses. So, if you are a digital marketing expert, you can find several people over there who would want to employ your services. It also helps in creating friendships and synergies. So, it could help in creating synergies in your business. You know. There might be, uh, you might find a good business partner inside the co-working space itself. So that is a great benefit. Also, it is a good working environment for freelancers because it's, you know, difficult to work from home. So for freelancers, it is a very good solution. It also helps reduce expenses. So overall, the cost of uh, renting a co-working space is much lower than renting an office, an office space. So it is a win-win for the corporates as well as for the companies who don't want to spend that much. Now uh, what are the top 3 co-working companies? So Regus, it has 832 locations, it is the oldest with establishment in 1989. It is a Luxembourg based company, largest global operator with more than 3000 locations. More than 100 in New York City and Tri-State area. Then second comes WeWork in 246 locations, it was debut. In 2010, as of December 31st, 2022, the company operated 43.9 million square feet of space, including 18.3 million square feet in the United States and Canada. It has 70 locations in Manhattan alone. However, the firm recently decided to close 40 locations on its pursuit of profitability. And the third number goes to Industrious Office. It is 135 location was founded in 2012. It is a New York based company. These locations are spread across 40 cities in the country, more than half of which are along the East Coast. The company has a significant number of locations in Europe and Asia. So this was all about co-working and why co-working is on the rise. Hope you found this video informative. Thank you guys and see you in the next video.